On this morning's Money Watch, President Biden halts new oil, gas, and coal leases on federal lands and waters. And South Carolina's weekly jobless claims are still historically high. Jane King is live in New York with your Friday morning business report. Good morning, Jane. Yes, Ted. Hi. Good morning to you. Well, initial unemployment claims in South Carolina remained elevated. This is for the week that ended January 16th, but they have dipped a little bit for the last two weeks in a row. Now, there were 6,600 jobless claims filed in South Carolina last week. That was down from 8,600 the week before that and the 9,300 the week before that. That's all according to the Labor Department. So the trend in the right direction, but still high. Well, Disney laid off thousands, tens of thousands of people, but the top execs made $35 million amid the pandemic last year. CEO Bob Chapek was reportedly paid $14 million, while Executive Chairman Bob Iger earned $21 million last year. The two executives will not receive a bonus this year. Disney cut 32,000 jobs last year as the theme parks, cruises, movie st studios were all closed at least part of the year due to the pandemic. Well, the Biden administration announced the suspension of new oil and gas leasing and drilling permits for U.S. lands and waters. That's effective for 60 days. Under President Trump, federal agencies prioritized energy development and eased environmental rules to speed up permits that would make the U.S. more energy independent. Well, the Nasdaq and S&P 500 closed at record highs yesterday. Vaccine progress and more stimulus have been sending the markets higher this week. Today, though, looks like we'll open about 250 lower. So maybe some profit taking from those record highs. Live from New York, I'm Jane King. Back to you, Ted. Yeah, folks, uh, feeling optimistic about the future, but maybe just trying to take a little bit out to stack their bank while they move mm. forward. <laughs> Looks like it. Jane, we'll check back on Monday. Have a great weekend. Thanks so much.